Hi everyone. This video is going to show you how to use a database called the Directory of Open Access Journals. So essentially this database is uh, for anyone interested in doing really in-depth research, especially if you're in high school or college, this can be a really good free resource for um, people in those fields and also for anyone who gets wants to get really in-depth into some research. So you can find that database basically free online, but we also have it linked to our website as well. So if you're on Foxburg free or foxburglibrary.org, you can go down to the reference, click on that. And for us, that is at the very bottom of the page under research. If you go down the whole way, it's right here, Directory of Open Access Journals. Okay, and this is what the site looks like. So there's two main ways to look things up. You can search for an entire journal, which is like a title um, of just a collection of articles that come out you know, every so often. Um, and then there's the actual articles on a specific topic, you can look those up as well. So if you're searching for a journal, you can choose different fields to look in. You can look for an actual title um, or subject. So let's say I'm just looking at uh, things in the uh, medical field. I'm just gonna search in medicine under subject. So that this will pull up any journal that has a, uh, medicine in their subjects, anything in the medical field. So that gives me a whole lot of different titles. Um, I can also narrow that down over the, on the side here so I can get into a specific subject. So let's say I wanted to get double up and get to like medicine right there. Then under, I can select language as well. So I can always speak English. So I'm gonna click on English. You can also do uh, other things as well. The, the publisher, if you know that, uh, publisher country. So I'm gonna United, United States. Peer review types, uh, that's mostly um, for people who are really into a work in college where you want to see how um, some, how prestigious a specific uh, title is. So for now, I'm just going to look under our uh, parameters for right now. You can see I have about 30 pages worth of different uh, articles. Um, for the medical field written in English um, that are published in the United States. So I can go down and find a specific um, title I'm interested in. So let's say I'm looking up emergency medicine for people um, working in the emergency rooms or um, an ambulance or something like that. So I'm going to click on their journal. So at first, this is gonna show me what this journal is about. Then I can also look up articles, which is probably what I'll be after. And this shows me a listing of all articles that have been indexed on this site. And sometimes they have entire issues. Like I think most of these are entire issues. Um, this one's an article from this issue that was published recently in this April. So if I wanna read it, I just hit read online. Now that link will take me to an outside site and those are all kind of different. Um, so I might get a different looking uh, layout depending on what article I clicked on. So this one took me to this website. And if I wanna read the whole article, I just click on the PDF. And it should open up. Usually don't need a specific PDF reader on your computer. Usually these will open up automatically. And here is this 
entire article right here. I could read through the whole thing. So I'm going to close that one for right now. And I'll show you other way to search for things. I'm just going to go back to the home page here. Now I'm going to search for an article, which is just going to be a specific title instead of an entire journal this time. Um, so let's say I'm looking up for something for research into COVID-19. Obviously, we're all thinking about that right now, and we'll probably continue to think of that in the future. So once again, I can limit my search on the side here. So again, I'm going to go under medicine. I can go for a specific journal if I have one in mind. I really don't right now. Um, so I'm going to go into your publication. I want something published recently, which is usually the best thing for research. So I'm going to hit 2021. And now here are all articles about COVID-19 um, published in 2021. So if I were to start look under this list here, for example, this one uh, has the, the journal that was published in uh, PLOS1 in January of this year. Once again, if I want to read it online, that option is right here. And this one, it looks like the whole article is available here in the HGM, but it's not a PDF. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes they're different. I guess there's a PDF download right here, but sometimes there's HTML, but they all should be fully readable online in one way or another. So thanks for watching. Like I said, this is mostly for people who are in really in-depth research. Um, so if you're just using, if you want a normal encyclopedia entry, this really isn't for you. But if you're really getting to the nitty gritty of research, um, this is a great uh, free um, resource for you guys. All right, so thanks for watching.